Hi mga ka friendships, mayong adlaw sa tanan. For today's video, happy happy viewing and learning mga ka friendships dito sa ating professional education drill part 2 session 2 let review for September 2024 let takers for elementary and secondary teachers. Mga ka friendships, have you watched session 1 parts 1 to 3 and our session 2 Part 1 in our let's review. If not yet, mga friendships, please watch it later to complete our let's review. And the good thing here, mga friendships, is that um, we have a post-test or evaluation after we finish the review. So please answer the Google form below in the comment section after watching this video, mga friendships. At ganun din sa ating ibang let reviewers videos, please Panoorin nyo mga ka friendships hanapin niyo dito sa ating channel sa mga videos ang ating mga uh, let reviewers videos at meron din yung mga uh, Google form na pwede natin sagutan after mag-review sa video para alam natin kung ilan ang natutunan natin sa ating pag-review sa mga videos natin mga friendships. And just a quick reminder lang mga ka friendships. Um, number one, get a piece of paper and a pen to answer along with me during our review. Number two, I'll give you five counts to answer each question. And number three, by the way, dito sa ating video mga ka-friendships ngayon ay mag-start tayo sa 51 to 100. Kasi ang ating session 2 part 1 mga ka-friendships ay nag-start yun sa 1 to 50. Kaya panoorin nyo talaga yun mga ka-friendships ha? Para alam nyo din kung ano ang laman ang pinag-reviewin na ano yung mga topics na diniscuss natin sa session 2 part 1. And good luck mga friendships let's now begin. Okay, kuha muna tayo ng um, laser. Hayan. So start tayo, number 51. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, Man may understand all about the rotation of the earth, but he may still miss the radiance of the sunset. Which type of education should be emphasized as implied by Martin Luther King Jr. A. Science and Education B. Vocational Education C. Liberal Education and D. Technical Education Okay, ready na mga friendships? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Okay, may mga sagot na mga friendships? Let's now uh, check your answer. The correct answer here is letter C. Liberal education, mga friendships. Please check your answer if tama and X is if mali. And before we proceed to 52, mga friendships, no, um, an ad uh, additional reminder, uh, mga friendships, please feel free to pause or stop the video if you need more time to read and understand the uh, problem, question, or situation. Okay, so let's proceed to number 52, mga friendships. Alright, so computer-assisted instruction is an offshoot of the theory of blank, A. J. P. I. G. B. B. F. Skinner, C. J. Bruner, and D. J. Watson. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is B. Um, B. F. Skinner. Please check if tama mga friendships. Okay, 53. The use of varied teaching and testing strategies on the account of students' multiple intellig intelligence is in line with the th thoughts of blank. A. Howard Gardner. Um, B. Jean Piaget. C. Daniel Goldman. And D. Benjamin Bloom. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, let's now reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter A, Howard Gardner. Please check your answer if tama and X is if mali mga friendships. Alright, 54. Applying Confucius teaching, how would hiring personnel select most fit in government positions? A. By record evaluation done by, by an accrediting body. Uh, B. Uh, by merit system. C. By accreditation. Um, D by government examinations. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, let's now check your answer. 
It's letter D by government examinations. Yes, mga ka-Francis, halos lahat ng mga agencies sa government, pagpapasok talaga tayo, uh, mayroon talaga mga exam. Hindi lang siya sa pagtuturo, kahit sa iba pa. Pero sa teaching ang question, so talagang may exam. Dati may exam din siya bago yung new guidelines. Sa ngayon kasi may exam pa siya, pero tinatawag siyang uh, TRF. Pero madali lang maka-friendship, super dali lang. Kaya huwag kayo mag-worry kasi nandito na ako tutulong sa inyo pag mag-apply na kayo sa DepEd. So galingan nyo sa let maka-friendship sa kailangan pum pumasa, papasa kayo sa let. Taasan nyo ang rating kasi kasama yan sa guidelines. Isa yan sa mga rubrics doon. Ako, ang laking points din ang let. So, good luck sa inyong let maka friendships. Okay, 55. In values education, faith, hope, and love are believed to be permanent values whether they be valued by people or not. So, upon what philosophy is that anchored? A. Idealism B. Realism C. Existentialism and D. Pragmatism Oh, sorry. Na-reveal ko agad ang sagot. <laughs> okay. So, alam ko, alam niyo na maka-friendship. So, bonus na lang to sa ating lahat. O, may bonus na tayo. <laughs> Pero sa totoong exam, makaroon siya bonus doon. <laughs> so, bonus siya kasi na pindot ko agad ang sagot. So, na-reveal natin. Letter A. Idealism. Okay? So, let's proceed to 56. Alright, in the schools, we teach realities that cannot be ver uh, verified by the senses like an invisible God or Allah. So, whose beliefs does this practice negate? A. Stoicist B. Rationalists C. Skeptics D. Empiricist 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The answer is Okay, Empiricists Empiricists, yan. Okay, number 57. Which emphasize on the non-violence as the path to true peace as discussed in peace education? A. Buddhism B. Hinduism C. Taoism C. Shintoism 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Okay, let's reveal now the answer. It's letter... B. Hinduism Okay, 58. I make full use of the question and answer as a model uh, for discussion. From whom is this question and answer method? Maganda yung maka-friendships kapag uh, during our discussion, let's have questions, uh, question and answer, Q&A, para yung mga bata mas mabilis matututo sa, question, sa discussion natin, yung matutunan yung lesson, yung diniscuss natin. So, ano dong method ito maka-friendships? Kaninong method ito? A. Socrates or Socrates B. Kant C. Aristotle And B. Plato 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 It's letter A. Socrates Okay, 59 mm, The principle of spontaneity against um, artificially will make you accomplish something Live nature to itself and you will have harmony is an active advice from the blank. A. Hindu um, B. Taoist C. Shintoist B. Buddhist Oh, nasyo agad ang sagot. <laughs> ano ba yan? Ang bilis ng kamay natin magpindot mga friendships So, na-reveal na natin. So, wag na tayong magsagot yan. Bonus ulit. Bako, baka mabonus to lahat mga friendships Let her be its Taoist mga friendships Okay, 60. So, the significance of liberal education in holistic development of students is supported by blank. A. Perennialism. B. Confucian, Confucian teaching. Um, C. Pragmatism. D. Perennialism and Confucian philosophy. Okay, hindi ko na talaga mapindot to mga friendships. So, magsagot na tayo. Okay, I'll count. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, may sagot na. Let's reveal the answer. It's letter C, pragmatism. Okay, paki-check if tama, X kung mali. And proceed tayo sa 61. Okay, is a sick teacher the only one assigned in a remote school accused from her teaching, or excused rather, excused from her teaching duty? So, maka Francis, mag-ingat tayo sa pagkaintindi natin sa question or situation. Maka-friendships ha. 
kasi Prof Ed ito nako nakakaantok pa naman tong Prof Ed totoo lang talaga maka Francis nakakaantok ang professional education kaya kailangan natin idilat ang mga mata in, unawain ang mga questions So dito, kung kailangan mo ng maraming oras, post the video. And then, if okay na, then continue watching. So again, is a sick teacher. The only one assigned in a remote school. So uh, excuse from her teaching duty? A. No. She is the only one assigned in that school. B. Yes. Teaching is a demanding job. C. Yes. She is sick. Okay? D. No. She must abide by her contract. So sa letter E maka friendship no, sabi daw niya hindi daw pwede, hindi siya excuse diyan kasi siya lang daw ang teacher diyan sa school na yan. Ang letter B naman, yes, kasi demanding daw ang trabaho sa pagtuturo. And then C, yes, pwede siyang excuse kasi may sakit siya. And then D, hindi daw pwede excuse kasi kailangan niyang sumunod, respetuhin ang kanyang kontratang pinirmahan. Okay? O ano sagot niya? So letter O, oh, five muna, count muna tayo. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's reveal. Okay, it's C. Yes, she is sick. The, the answer correct answer mga ka-friends na is yes. Kasi nga, may sakit siya. Um, tayong mga public school teachers, kapag kayo mga friendship no, magtitake pa kayo, alam ko makakapasa kayo, alam ko makakapasok kayo sa DepEd. Kapag nasa DepEd na tayo mga friends wala tayong uh, sick leave. Wala tayong leave dyan. Kaya mga friends, alam niyo ba yung NLC, National Learning Camp? Uh, may kap, uh, ang teacher dyan, yung mga public school, hindi yan siya bayad as in yung 500, 1,000, ganun. Food allowance lang yan, 250. And then, may aside from 250, may makukuha din silang service credit. Kami mga friends, tayo. So, pinapatos, talagang kinukuha natin yan. Kasi mga friends, kapag tayo nagkakasakit, yun ang gagamitin natin para hindi tayo mabawasan sa sahod natin. Tawag doon, teaching, uh, uh, service credit ang tawag doon. At mga ka-French, itong tanong na to, nasa, ano to, alam, alam natin ang mga RAs, alam natin ang Magna Carta for teachers. So, ito ay kasama to sa Magna Carta ng ka-French. Kaya, kailangan alawakan natin ang pag, uh, ating, ating dunong. Kailangan nagbabasa tayo para sa mga batas, mga ka-French, lalo na sa teachers. Okay? Uh, let's uh, proceed na for 6 ito ang haba ng daldala natin dito mga friendships Okay? Alright. So, 62. What is the demonstration of your authority as a professional teacher? Dito din mga friends Ang ganda. Yung 61, 62. Gusto ko yung questions na to. So, 62 naman na focus siya sa demonstration of your authority as a professional teacher. Ikaw. Ikaw mga friendship kung makapasok ka sa public school, ano yung authority authority mo? Pag, pagiging Uh, professional na teacher o para sa iyo mga friendships A. You make your pupils run errands for you B. You decide on how to teach the particular lesson C. You absent from class to enjoy your leave even without prior notice D. You select to teach only those lessons which you have mastered 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Ito mga ka-Frenchies, dito tayo matututo ngayon. Ang sagot dito ay letter B. You decide on how to teach the particular le- lesson. Walang uh, mag-uutos sa'yo, walang uh, walang boss sa'yo sabihin mo ganito ang pagturo ng lesson mo, ganito, ganito. No. Kasi mga ka-Frenchies, let's, uh, no, nirespeto natin ang, ang kaibahan ng bawat guro. Kaya ang mga teachers sa public school mga friendships, ikaw ang magdi-decide kung paano mo ituro ang lesson na yan sa mga bata mo. Yun ang authority natin mga friends bilang professional teacher sa public school. O kahit, kahit nasa pub, uh, private school ka man, may authority ka pa din kung paano mo ituro ang liso, lesson. Kasi galing din ako sa private school niya. Okay, that's letter B. Huwag kalimutan ni mga friendships ha. Okay, 63. Which statement on true authority is wrong? Again, which statement on th- on true authority is wrong? A. It sets an example. B. It seeks its own satisfaction and privilege. C. It acts in the best interest of others. D. Its goal is to help form and guide others. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer? Letter B. It seeks its own satisfaction and privilege. 
Okay, 64. When a teacher teaches the idea that it's wrong to think that Filipino lifestyle, products, and ideas are inferior to those of other nationalities, he flights against, or oh, he flights, sorry, he fights against blank. A. Acculturation. B. Ethnocentrism. C. Culture shock. D. Xenocentrism. Five, four, three, two, one. It's letter D. Xenocentrism. Sixty-five. Teacher Lolita, a teacher for forty years. Oh. Imagine maka French, 40 years na ako, saludo ako kay Teacher Lolita, ang tagal na niya nagtuturo. Refuses to attend seminars. She claims that her 40 years of teaching is more than all the seminars she is asked to attend. Is her actuation and thinking in accordance with the code of ethics for professional teachers na ako maka friendships kapag nasa public school, tayo na sa DepEd, kahit gano tayo katagal sa DepEd, talagang, talagang, matuto tayong sumunod. Okay? <laughs> Dahil hindi lahat ng matagal sa DepEd, sa public school, ay super duper galing na. Kasi kahit ako, naka, mayroon akong, makaka-witness ako, mayroon akong resibo, <laughs> mayroon akong co-teacher ngayon sa public school na super tagal na niya, pero nako kawawa talaga si ma'am. <laughs> okay, so, let's uh, see the choices. A. No. A professional teacher, regardless of teaching experience, ought to go through continuing professional education. B. No. Non-attendance to seminars means no professional growth. C. Yes, because she has taught for 40 years and may have mastered that, the trade. And then yes, provided she has an excellent performance rating. Mm. Alin dyan. Diba halos-halos pare-pareho ang sagot? I mean, pare hal pwedeng possible ha. Bawat isa na yung sagot. Pero mga friendships dapat alam natin ang sinasabing code of ethics per professional Teachers, dapat alam natin yan. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one ang dal dal talaga ni ano talaga maka friendships no ni Jingle Agula. <laughs> Let's reveal the answer. It's letter A. No, a professional teacher, regardless of teaching experience, ought to go through continuing professional education. Kahit gaano pa tayo katagal dyan sa serbisyo, sa ating pagtuturo, sa DepEd, magaling ka man o hindi, kulilat ka man na teacher, kailangan mong umatend. Okay? So, kailangan respetuhin ang ating code of ethics for professional teachers. Sunod tayo doon. Okay? Para walang problema. <laughs> Alright, 66. A principal as her good teachers to write modular lessons in science and then she had them published with her name printed as author, which is unethical in this case. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Ang ganda mga friendships, no? Naintindihan mo ba? Ang ganda na problem mo. A principal as her good teacher. Good teacher yung magaling na brilliant teacher talaga. So, to write the modular lessons in science, and then she had them published with her name printed as author. So, ibig sabihin, pinagla si principal sa pangalan niya, <laughs> which is unethical in this case. A. She was the exclusive beneficiary of the uh, royalty from modules. <laughs> Uh, B. She burdened uh, her teachers with work not related to teaching. C. She had the modular lessons published when they were worth publishing. D. She got the merit which was due for her teacher writers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Letter D. <laughs> Bahala kayo dyan. So let's proceed to 67. Ang ganda no, mga tanong mga friendships. Alright, is it ethical on the part of the teacher to proselyte in her classroom every Friday? A. Yes, that strengthens values education. B. Yes, that is religious instruction which is allowed by the constitu constitution. C. No, 
A teacher shall not engage in the promotion of his or her religious interest in the classroom. And D, no. Uh, proselyting, pros, proselyting is no longer necessary in this age. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. C, no. A teacher shall not engage in the promotion of his or her religious interest in the classroom. Correct. Wag na wag mong gawin niya maka friendships, di ba? May mga ibang religion ngayon, pinaglaban talaga sila, sila talaga ma, ma, ma ano, ma maliligtas daw. <laughs> Kung ano mang religion natin, kali, uh, wag hindi naman kalimutan, kundi wag natin yang uh, i-promote sa loob ng classroom to convince and to para yayain silang mga bata na sumali din sa religion mo. No, it's a big no. <laughs> Red flags yan, mga friendships Okay, right, uh, proceed 68. Which can promote national pride among pupil students? A. Studying the lives of outstanding Filipinos here and abroad. Sorry, it's not A. <laughs> Roman numeral I. So, Roman numeral 2. Reading the lives of saints of the church. Roman numeral 3. Studying Philippine history with emphasis on the victories and greatness of the Filipino people. A. 1, 2, 3. B, 3 only, C, 1 and 2, and D, 1 only. The answer, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is letter B, 3 only. Anong question? Which can promote national pride among pupils and students? National pride. O, focus na na promote national pride. Ang sagot, 3. Study Philippine history with emphasis on the vic uh, victories and greatness of the Filipino people. Yes, that's right. 69. Why is the exodus of Filipino professionals described as brain drain? Roman numeral 1. Those who go abroad are usually the better. Nainiwala kayo ng mga friendships. Parang. <laughs> 2. Filipino professionals serve other countries instead. 3. They contribute to nation building through their dollar remittances. <laughs> Five, okay, choices mo na pala. A, one, two, three. B, one only. C, two only. D, one and two. Five, four, three, two, one. One and two. Well, indeed, the one and two. Those who go abroad are usually the better. Correct. Talaga, super galing. Yung mga nanood ako, mga vlogs, mga friendships, na mga, mga, ano, mga teachers talagang nag excel taro sa ibang bansa. And then, Filipino professional serves other countries instead. Those nag... Ay, nako, ito naman kasi ang gobyerno natin. Kapag may mga magagalitang scientist, kapag na-discover ng, ng ibang bansa like America, binibili yung, ano, yung galing ng tao na babayaran. Kasi nga, we cannot afford. Yung bansa natin, ayawang ko, ewan na bansa. <laughs> Pina, pinapalit go nila lahat yung mga magagaling. Yung, sige na, go na kayo sa mga bansa. Parang pinagkikitaan. Kasi yung lucky din kasi siguro share na nga na sila. Yung nagawa nila sa ating, I mean yung ano nila, contribution sa ating bansa. Lucky siguro. Yung gusto sa bansang Pilipinas. <laughs> Wait, sana tayo? 70, pasensya na maka French, lumalik tayo. 72 na ata tayo eh. Okay, dito. Okay, dito tayo maka-French. Pasensya na. So, rights are not absolute. Letter A is the answer. Okay? So, check if tama. X kung mali. And let's continue na. Proceed tayo sa 73. History books used in the schools are replete with events portraying defeats and weaknesses. Of the Filipino people, in the spirit of nationalism, how should you tackle them in the classroom? A. Present them as they are and tell the class to accept reality. B. Present the facts and use them as means to teach, inspire your class. C. Present the facts and express your feelings of regret. D. Present the facts including those people responsible for the failures of uh, or for those who contributed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's B. 
Present the facts and use them as means to teach and inspire your class. 74. Should an association of teachers obey a Supreme Court's decision even if it conflict with its interests and opinions? A. No. B. Yes. C. Yes, provided they can make a bargain. And D. No, as a minority group, they have the right to express their rejection. Oh, na-reveal ulit ang sagot natin. It's yes, letter B. So, bonus ulit maka-friends. Na, naku, ma, parang nakatatlong bonus na tayo maka-friendships. <laughs> okay, and it, it's okay lang maka-friendships na kung nakarami tayong bonus. Ang importante siya maka-friends, nag-review tayo. And then, uh, mamaya after watching this video, sagutan natin yung Google Form na, nasa baba sa comment section. Ha, maka-friendships. Para alam natin yung kung ilan ang natutunan natin sa review natin ngayon. Okay, 75. A teacher does not agree with the selective retention policy of the school and she openly talks against in it in it in her classes. So, is her behavior ethical? A. Yes, provided she got the permission from her superior to talk against the policy. B. No. It is her duty to faithfully carry it out even if she does not agree. C. No. In fact, she is quite confused and passes on her confusion to others. And D. Yes. She is entitled to her opinion just as very as everybody is. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is letter B. No. It is her duty to faithfully carry it out even if she does not agree. 76. If you have a problem with another teacher, the first step towards resolution should be for you to A. Talk directly with a teacher involved. B. Ask your fellow teachers to intercede on your behalf. C. Ask your fellow teachers for their suggestions. D. Discuss it with your principal. Oh, maka friends, may problema ka sa iba, sa co-teacher mo. Ano daw dapat mong gawin para masolve yun? O, oh, diretso ka ba sa principal? O, oh, tingnan natin. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's now reveal the answer. Hey, you should talk directly to the teacher involved. Huwag niya maging marites. Kasi if you will tell the principal na kung nagpapahaba ka ng ihi mo, ibang meaning noon. So, susumbong mo siya. So, ibig sabihin ng, alam mo, kapag tao kasi, pag ako, pag ako principal, sinasabihan mo ako na mayroon kang ano, ka, kaaway, na ako, ang ibig sabihin niyan, para kang sip-sip, ganun. Parang, wala lang, papansin. Kaya mga friends, kung mayroon tayong mga hindi nagka nagkaintindihan or misunderstanding na or problema sa kapwa guro sa isang school, so let us talk to to her or to his directly para mas para ma-solve agad-agad ang problema. Kasi ang goal natin is ma-solve ang problema, ay maayos ang gulo. Okay? So 77 na tayo. Okay, what is ethical for you to do if deep within your heart you do not agree with the school policy on students' absences? A. Be vocal about your feeling and opinion against the policy. B. Argue with your superior to convince him to change the policy. C. Understand the policy and support the school in its implementation. And um, keep your feeling to yourself but make insi insinuations that you are against it while well, you touch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Letter C. So, understand the policy and support the schools in its implementation. Kahit gusto man hindi, nako, katulad ng uh, tulad ng N NLC, tulad ng uh, every Fridays, catch up Fridays, gusto mo man, eh, hindi yan, sumunod ka, kasi, um, yun ang utos sa taas. <laughs> Kapag nasa DepEd tayo, gusto mo man, o hindi, ang batas, ang programa, dapat sumusuporta tayo. Okay? <laughs> Para hindi ka kalabanin ng batas, char. 
78. Oh, ang haba ng situation maka French ang case. So, may mga ka French sanjan pa ba kayo? <laughs> Alam niyo mga friendships no sa totoo lang talaga nakakaantok ang professional education pero no choice tayo kailangan natin i-review hinto para pumasa kay sa prof ed. <laughs> okay, case. Alam niyo mga friends ito marami tong ano um kasunod na mga questions. Kaya tandaan niyo to mga friends sa itong tanong na to kasi sa mga susunod na mga questions related dito sa 78 na case. Okay, Mrs. Domingo devo- develop A lesson on the concept of fraction this way. First, she presented one pizza and then asked people to cut it into two. And she called one part of the pizza one half and the two parts of two halves. So then she wrote one half and two halves on the board. She proceeded to ask another people to divide the half parts of the cake into two again. And then wrote one half, two fourths and three fourths. Then she used the model of fractions wooden circles divide into two, three, and four. Show one half, one fourth, um, one third, and two fourths. Then she went back to the fractions she wrote on the board and she asked her peoples for the meaning of one half, one third, one fourth, and two fourths. Okay. So did Mrs. Domingo follow Brunner's three stage development of knowledge? A. No. B. Only in the first stage. C. Cannot be determined because the lesson was not developed fully. And D. Yes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you need more time, please post the video to understand um, the, the case. And sa mga tapos na, let's check your answer. The answer is letter D. Yes. Okay. 79. Oh, so case pa rin ito maka Francis about kanina ha. Um kay Miss Domingo. So, maka French hindi natin basahin ulit 'yan. Yan na 'yon. If you re- if you want to read again, please post the video and feel free to read the the, the case kasi same lang siya ng case dati. So, ito yung question natin. In the context of Brunner's principle of knowledge presentation, which is the inactive phase of the lesson of fra- on fractions. A Presenting the pizza and cutting it into two and a four. B. Using the model of fractions. C. Writing the fractions one half, one fourth, and three, one third on the board. And D. Asking the meaning of one half, one fourth, and one third. Four, uh, five, four, three, two, one. The answer is letter A. Presenting the pizza and cutting into two and four. Okay, number 80 maka friendships. Would it be easier to understand and retain the concept of fractions if Mrs. Domingo began the lesson on fractions with a meaning of one half, one third, one for etc.? A. Yes, provided we proceed to the concrete. B. Yes, provided we include a concrete application of the abstract. C. It depends on the teaching skills of the teacher. D. No. For better learning, we proceed from the concrete to the abstract. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is... D. No. For better learning, we proceed from the concrete to the abstract. Okay. 81. Which part of the lesson is the symbolic stage? Mga ka-Francis, meron ba kayong narinig na ano? Maingay? Yeah, narinig niyo may mga ka-friendships. Doon ko pagpasensya ng mga ka-friendships ha. Kasi um, talagang maingay dito sa palibot namin. Kaya ang recording natin, hindi natin mapigilan. Maiwasan na may mga marinig tayong extra ingay. Ganun. So, pilitin na lang natin. TSC natin mga friendships Okay? Letter A, using the model of fractions. B, dividing a pizza further into four... C. Dividing the pizza into two. And then, and then D. Writing the fractions one half, one fourth, one third, and two fourths on the board. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the answer is letter D. Writing the fractions one half, one fourth, one third, two fourth on the board. Yan. Yan, malakas ng ingay maka-Frenchies. 
Basta tiisin nyo lang maka-fresh malapit na tayo. Number 82 na tayo. Does the development of the lesson and the fraction conform the bottom-up arrangements of the learning experiences in the Edgar in Edgar Dale's Cone of Experience? A. No. B. Cannot be determined. Yes. And D. Up to the second phase of the lesson only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's yes. C. Oh, 83 to 87. O oh, mga ka-friendships, ang haba ng ano natin. Okay, so, ang case na yan, tandaan natin kasi hanggang 87 items siya. So, mga questions non related dito. So, case. In a faculty recollection, the teachers were asked to share their thoughts of the learner. So, their primary customer. So, what follow is the gist of what were shared. So, teacher A, ito ang share niya. The learner is a product of his environment. Sometimes, he has no choice. He is determined by his environment. Teacher B naman, ang thought niya dito, the learner can choose what he can become despite his environment. Si teacher C, ang sabi niya, the learner is a social being who learns well through an active uh, interplay with other. And the teacher D, the learner is a rational being. School should develop his rational and moral powers. So, tanong, whose philosophical concept is that of teacher A? So, tanong dito kay teacher A, kanino daw yan siyang philosophical concept kanino? Okay. Oh, the learner is a product of his environment. Sometimes he has no choice. He is determined by his environment. Kanino yan? A. Rationalist. B. Behaviorist. C. Existentialist. D. Progressivist. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. O, alin siyaan ang ano? Yung teacher A na philosophical concept. It's letter B. Behaviorist. Okay, tuloy pa din doon sa question na yon. Teacher B's response comes from the mouth of an behaviorist, essentialist, existentialist, and perennialist. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's existentialist. Existentialist. 85. So, kung nakalimutan nyo mga friendships, no, please feel free to go back on the video or yung sa my case lang sa 83, ganun, para ma-refresh and ma-remember nyo yung, ano, yung mga sinasabi ng mga teacher A to teacher D. If you agree with teacher C, ano yung sinabi ni teacher C? Balikan nyo yun. You are more than, you are more of an A. Progressivist. B. Essentialist. C. Rationalist. D. Perennialist. It's progressivist. 86. Based pa din doon sa 83. If you identify yourself with teacher D, you adhere to what philosophy? Existentialist. Perennialist. Behaviorist. Progressivist. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's B. Perennialist. 87, based pa din doon sa case item number 83, whose response denies man's free will? A. Teacher A. B. Teacher C. C. Teacher D. D. Teacher B. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's Teacher A. 88, 89. So, remember this case. Kasi sa next slide, ganun, ganito din ang tanong niyan. Case, the school head, um, Amelia, wants her teachers to be constructivist in their teaching orientation. So, which material will her teachers most likely use? A. Facts. B. Hypothesis. C. Time-tested principles. D. Laws. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's hypothesis. Hypothesis. 89. So, based on item number 88, previous slide. 
So which material will her teachers most likely avoid? A. Problems or cases. B. Open-ended topics. C. Um, unquestionable laws. And D. Controversial issues. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's unquestionable laws. 90. On which assumption is the principal's action anchored? Roman numeral 1, students learn by personally constructing meaning of what is taught. Um, Roman numeral 2, students construct and con reconstruct meanings based on the experiences. 3, students derive meaning from the meaning that teachers gives. Okay, choices are 1 on one only for letter A, B1 and 3, C1 and 2, and D2 only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. C, 1 and 2. 91. Which does school head Amelia want her teachers to do? A, require, teach, um, require their students to come up with a, con, um, with a construct of the lesson. B, let their students construct meaningful sentences based on the lesson. C, make their students derive meaning from what is presented. And D, Give the meaning of what they press, press, uh, present in class. That's letter. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Its answer is B. Let their students constru construct meaningful sentences based on, the, based on the lesson. 92. Which one should her teachers then avoid? Students. A. Memorization and facts for testing. B. Reflection. C. Self-directed learning. D. Inquiry. And the answer is... <laughs> oh my goodness, letter A. Pang-apat na bonus na natin yan. <laughs> Inaantok ng Laura niyo mga friendships. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, nakakaantok ang Prof. Ed. Ka kaya kailangan natin labanan yan. <laughs> ang bilis ng kamay ko mag-click. <laughs> Natatawa na lang ako dito. Okay, proceed tayo sa 93... Nandiyan ba ba kayo mga friendships? <laughs> nandiyan ba kayo? <laughs> comment nga kayo sa comment section kung nandiyan pa kayo kung inabot ba kayo sa 93. <laughs> o, oh, tingnan nyo. Kiss ulit. Nako. Kaya mga ka friendships, uh, habaan talaga ang pasensya sa Prof. Ed. Nakakaantok ang haba-haba ng baba sa akin. Tapos isang item lang, isang tanong lang. <laughs> okay, ito na ang case. Makinig na kayo. <laughs> on the first day of school, teacher Iveta oriented her class on procedures to be observed in passing papers, getting textbooks from, and returning the design on the bookshelf. So leaving the room for necessity and conducting group work. So she ar arranged the chairs in such a way that students can interact and can move around without unnecessarily distracting those seated and she involved the class in the formulation of rules to ensure punctuality, order, and cleanliness in the classroom. On what belief is teacher Iveta's management practice anchored? A. Classroom rules need to be imposed for order's sake. B. A teacher must lord her power over her students to be a um, an effective classroom manager. C. Um, reactive classroom management style is effective. And B. The classroom environment affects learning. If you need time, please post the video to understand more the case. And then, sa mga finish na, let's check your answer. Count mo tayo ng 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? <laughs> the answer is... Letter D, the classroom environment affects learning. Kailangan kasi mga friendships is set ang classroom kasi pag tulad ng ano, tulad dito ng uh, formulation and uh, paggawa ng classroom rules, kapag i-involve mo kasi ang mga students sa pag-create ng classroom rules mga friendships, maaari po kasi ano, um, makapag-create ka din ng magandang classroom management. Kasi kapag 
kapag ano, kapag um hindi maayos ang implementation, dapat yung implementation ng maayos kasi pag hindi, magkakagulo din buong taon niyan. Kaya mga ka-friends, classroom environment affects learning. Kapag magulo yung mga bata mo, magulo din ang natutunan. Wala silang natutunan. Magulo-gulo lang yan. Mag-aaway-aaway yan. Puro sumbong lang yan sa parents sa teachers. Kaya dapat sa umpisa pa lang ng school years na pasukan, kapat maayos na lahat-lahat ang dapat para it creates a good classroom management kasi para magkaroon ng classroom environment na maayos para ang mga bata ay matututo sa teacher at sa lesson okay oh 94 teacher Jane involved her students in the formulation of class rules which describes her classroom management style so benevolent b authoritarian c democratic Laces fears fears. <laughs> It's democratic. <laughs> Nagmamadali na talaga ako. Na na click na agad. It's democratic. Clear naman eh. Alam ko na ka French. Kahit hindi niyo pa yan, kahit na show ko agad ang sagot, alam ko alam niyo na yan. Alam mo mag authoritarian. I eh, sinamin sinama na nga, sinalit na nga ang bata sa paggawa ng ano, classroom rules. So, ano na yan? Democratic yan, kalayaan yan uh, ng lahat para of course, maayos ang pag... Lalo na grade 4 ha, grade 4 to grade 12. Kapag mga kinder, of course, i-present na lang yung kinder, grade 1 to 3. Pero ang mga, ang mga 1 to 3, nakaka-create na sila ng rules. Pero paunti-unti. So, minsan, i-present lang natin sa kanila. Pero sa mga intermediate, junior high, senior high, please let us involve them in... Uh, uh, formulating or creating class rules. Okay, 95. Which adjective appropriately describes teacher Vieta as a classroom manager? A. Proactive. B. Modern. C. Reactive. D. Traditional. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's proactive. 96. Why is it sound classroom management practice for teacher Evetta to have involved the students in the formulation of class rules? A. No, it weakens the teacher's authority over students. B. Yes, it makes students feel a sense of ownership of the rules. C. Yes, it lessens the teacher's work. D. No, it is to the, it is a student's act of... Um, usurpation of teacher's power. It's B. So yes, it makes students feel a sense of ownership of the rules. Mas maganda talaga yan. Kahit saan pa, saan sulok man ka man napunta ng mundo, saan school ka man napunta, kailangan talaga alam ng bata, I mean, isama sila sa formulation or creation of class rules para mas Ipaalala mo sa kanila pag mag-remind ka, oh, ano yung mga rules na ginawa ninyo sa klase pag maingay na yan. Basta, kas- mas maganda pagkasali sila sa paggawa ng classroom rules. 97. Which assumption underlies Teacher Jane's classrooms management practice? Yung Teacher James, mga kapatid, si Iveta yan ha, kaya <laughs> Kasi pinalitan ko lang yan. Hindi ko lang napalitan lahat ng Iveta. Kaya dapat si Iveta din yan. Pero pinalitan ko lang yan. Kaya yung question man sa 97, related ba lang sa previous question, sa case, yung kay Iveta. <laughs> eh, classroom routines leave more time for class distra- uh, instruction. B, classroom routines are boring and will work when imposed. C, students need to be treated like adults. To learn responsibility, and the teacher's personality is a critical factor in classroom discipline. Five, four, three, two, one. Ano sa gutyo mga friendships? It's letter A. Okay. Ninety-eight. Which question technique or techniques of Mr. Santo do or does not enhance interaction? Um, Roman numeral 1, asking high-level questions. Um, Roman numeral 2, calling only on those who raise their hands. 3, calling on someone before asking a question. Choices are A, 2, and 
B, 1 and 2. C, 3 only. D, 1 and 3. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> the answer is letter A, 2 and 3. So, two, uh, calling only on those who raise their hands and then calling on someone before asking the question. Okay, nice. 99. Which statement on wait time is correct? A. Wait time turns off slow thinking students. B. The higher the level of the question, the longer the wait time. C. For quality response, what and why questions require equal wait time? And D. Wait time discourages the brighter group of students. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Nagka-energy na ako kasi mag-last question na tayo. Okay, it's letter B. The higher the level of the question, the longer the wait time. Okay, nice na yan. Tama naman yan. Oh, last question. <laughs> to connect the lesson in water conservation to the life of the students, which question is most appropriate? A. How can you help conserve water? B. Based on you, your observations, in what ways for people contribute water wastage? C. What may be the reason why even if family B is not as big as family C, it consumes much more water than family Z? And D. Among the families, who contributes most to water conservation? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's now reveal, check your answer. It's letter C. What may be the reason why if even, uh, why even if family B is not as big as family C, it consumes much more water than family Z. Okay? So mga friends, last item na ito sa ating part 2 of session 2. Mga friendships, nako bago natin i proceed sa next slide, yung pinaka last slide natin mga friendships pa uh, magpapaalam na mga friendships panoorin ninyo ang ating Iba pang mga Let Reviewers videos na dito sa ating channel. So, mayroon tayong tatlong videos doon mga friends sa session 1. At dito sa session 2, pangalawang videos na to. At patuloy tayong gagawa ng uh, Let Reviewers mga friends. Kaya abangan ninyo ang iba pa nating mga Let Reviewers videos. At ang kaganda nito mga friends, no meron tayong pa-post test or evaluation through a Google Form link. Kaya, mga friendships, after nito sa video na to, magsagot kayo sa ating Google Form na sa comment section para alam natin kung ilan ang natutunan natin sa ating video ngayon. Ganun din, mga friends, iba nating mga videos. Meron din doong mga Google Form sa mga sa comment sections ng mga videos para of course ma-test natin kung ready na ba tayo sa September 2024 exam. Let exam or let oh, uh, yeah, let exam. Okay, let's proceed na. Sa so last slide. <laughs> Alright, magpapaalam na ko mga ka-friendships. <laughs> Thank you mga friendships and that concludes part of our session 2 of our Let Online Review for September 2024 takers. Below, ulitin ko ulit, in the comment section is the Google Form link for the post test or evaluation or a drill. Please click or open the link and answer the questions correctly to assess how much you have learned from our online review today. Kindly comment your, sec your score naman mga French after completing the test para alam din natin na ilan na kuha ninyo. Alam niyo mga friends, kayo, na, kayo lang naman ang nakakaalam sa score niyo. Kaya wag na wag kayong mahihiya magtanong. <laughs> wag kayong mahiyang mag-comment. Wag kayong mahiyang magsagot kasi kayo lang naman nakakaalam niyan. Okay? Kasi after niyo makompleto ang test, alright, mag-ibibigay ma agad ang score ninyo. Makikita niyo agad ang score ninyo after niyo ma-submit ma ang inyong test. Okay lang kung mabagsa at least natutunan mo yung mga mali mo, 'di ba? Kung gusto mo ma-perfect ulitin mo ang test. 
Okay, so good luck mga ka Frenchies and abangan ninyo ang iba pa nating mga Let Reviewers videos. <laughs> and may God bless you all mga ka Frenchies. Babush! See you sa ating next video.